Hey y'all, it's Price mixing it up. Woo, woo, coming to you from the yard. So look, you know I got this hat on, you know what's about to happen. I ain't picking no fruit, so it must be gardening time. Gardening time with Price mixing it up. I'll see you in the yard. Woo, woo, come on now, give me a woo, woo. All right, here's the roses. They in <laughs> wild condition. I haven't been out here to do anything. Look at that weed. That weed trying to look like a rose bush. I'm about to clip, trim, pull, and get this in shape. It's hot out here today, y'all. I don't know, I feel like 100, but I'm gonna do what I can do and just relax. This is my relaxation time today. So this is what I like to do to relax. What do you like to do? All right, let's get into okay. it. So I've uh, cleaned out a lot of rubbish that was in the soil. I've clipped a lot of the dead buds off and already look like they're springing up. So this is the mini rose garden. Got weeds out of there. It's overdue. So it's looking really pretty. And there are some pink roses. There's some um yellow there's white there's three blends in here as you can see it's looking really pretty box trees are looking good geraniums need some work so i'm going to get all of this to dry it off today otherwise they're looking pretty healthy they're growing so big it's taking over the succulent so let's see what we're going to do about that geranium growing in the middle of a succulent Here's this one, it's looking real, it's the one um, my granddaughter planted when she was two. And now it's just doing really well. I call this the under ocean plant. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Look at this one. This is one of my favorites right here. And this one's taking a different shape because it's against the wall here. Okay, let's get busy with the geraniums. Look, clean these two up. See how much prettier? So, I'm going to get back out here this week. These are not ready to come off. I don't want to clip them off and destroy what's going on on the roots. But the greenery is beautiful. So, these two geraniums, I'm done with these for this week. Got quite a bit of rubbish off of them. And just going to let them um, bloom a little bit more this week. And then I'll come back out. Okay, for me, the geranium is probably the easiest plant to grow. This is a blend of jade and geranium. And the geranium does what it wants. You just water it. And then, like I said, pull the dry off. So this one, look, just pluck it off, right? You don't have to fight with them, they're dry. But they're getting taking nutrients from the live ones. So that's why it's so important to get them off. So these I can pretty much pull off. Got some dry leaves here. This branch is really um, exploding, coming over in another territory. <laughs> so I may clip this off and, and pot it. I have a pot over there with some pieces and I, maybe I'll pot this piece right here. You just stick it in dirt, just like Jade. Stick it in dirt and it'll root and it'll grow. So geranium's the easiest to grow. Remember that. Your kids wanna do a garden, just get a piece of geranium, get a piece of Jade. This is the Jade uh, right here. You can pluck off a piece of this and stick it in the dirt. Let me show you this succulent over here. If you haven't been with me, this started from the beginning. So these are little pieces of jade that were just stuck in the dirt and being watered. And now they're rooted and they're growing. All of these succulents are easy. Just stick them in the dirt, water them. So it's really hot out here where I live. And as you can see, the soil is very dry. So I'm gonna soak these today. Today is watering day for us. You know, we're on ration of watering, right? So uh, Sunday is our one of our watering days. All right, let's get busy with this one. <clears throat> Got our handy dandy clippers. Get these at the dollar store, okay? So for now, I'm just gonna pull. Pull what comes off, all right? gentle kids can do this they have fun doing this because they feel like they're tearing something up and they're really not <laughs> they're not destroying it they would think oh 
It let me tear up a plant. Yeah, actually, you're helping it grow. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna clip these little, this dead root off. It's dead. Okay, I'm gonna clip this one off because it's actually taking a lot of nutrition from the rest. And it's not gonna do anything but end up hanging over the wall and that's not what I want, that's not my design. So it's actually hooked onto another branch. There's some, let me just do it right there. Cause it looks like the other branches are green. Let's see if I can show you. As you can see, the new branches, see, is green. This one's brown. So I'm going to clip this one off down right there where it meets the green branch. Okay. Camera back. Camera person. <laughs> That's me. That's me. It's a big one too. There we go. There we go. All right, we're going to stick this in some dirt. It looks healthy still. It's green in there. It's just brown here. So I got a pot to put this in. And I think I'm going to take this one off too. There. Let's take that one off. Okay, now we got a different look. Here we go. Still looks nice. I can actually see clear in here. Now look, there's some jade that done rooted down here. Probably one of these little petals right here fell off into there. And it got watered, and look what it created. Okay, that's looking good. We're going to leave this like it is. A couple of days, come back. You know, what would have been ideal was to make some a pitcher of fusion water today. Did you guys see my video on fusion water? Where you, um, excuse my look, but I've been working a day, y'all. And I feel like I'm in Nassau at the Bahamas because it's 93 hot out there. Yeah. So my lock journey is doing good. I haven't did anything lately, but as you can see, it's really growing. You know, my hair is thinning but this this style works for me and i get looks like strange looks sometimes sometimes i get compliments but at the end of the day guess what it don't matter what nobody else say i know who i am i'm doing me amen thank you jesus so i ain't worried about what nobody say about my hair how i look or nothing else because at my age it don't even matter that's not what i'm talking about this is what matters hydration it's 93 out there and this gardening thing, I love. I haven't been outside. I gotta show you guys my bird of paradise. I just rearranged the patio today. I'm getting this, this positive energy and I gotta start moving because I haven't been moving. I've been ill. That's why you guys haven't seen me. But I'm back, hey, looking like a real true gardener, wasting things on me, look like I've been eating. Um, so let me wash my hands because I had it in my hair. I'll be right back with you. Okay, always keep your hands clean, y'all. Wash them. All right. So what I do, my my drink, my this is not a fusion, but this is my Canada Dry, so I can get some carbonation. Not drinking a soda, but I love. Gen, uh, Canada Dry Club Soda. No other club soda does for me. I'm very particular. I only like Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Um, that's the only brand. The rest of them, for me. So I do some lemon here. I'm not going to squeeze it. Some lime, one of each. And I'm going to put some more ice in here. I'm going to be back with you in a minute. So I'm, I like the chopped ice. 
And so another piece of lemon, another piece of lime, and then my club soda on top. I'm telling you, this is so refreshing. Everybody laugh at me. I don't drink alcohol. I have my years of drinking alcohol. I'm done. I don't need that no more. It didn't give me no joy. It didn't give me no peace. I thought it did at the time when I needed it. But hey, that's life, right? We learn as we go. And so my drink of choice now is right here. And so um, if we're out somewhere, like um, when we go on trips, uh, Las Vegas, uh, we're on the cruise, um, I don't drink alcohol. So if I go to the bar, I'll just order my Canada Dry or my um, Pellegrini with a lime. Yeah, I don't need the, the alcohol in it and this. And I got my little straw. These are my reusable straws. Look how tall they are. This is a big glass too, y'all. Okay. Ooh, that's delicious. Oh man. I gotta be careful because I'll drink this whole bottle. But let's look at the facts. Nutrition facts, 12 ounces is three um, servings per container. And let's look, no fat, 115 milligrams of sodium, zero carbs, zero protein, no sugar, okay? That's why that's my drink of choice. No carbs, no sugar, okay? No fat. I can drink this whole bottle if I want, okay? Maybe I have to be concerned about the sodium, but I just had labs done and everything's in check. So I'm working on a little bit here and there, but guess what? Again, I'm doing me, okay? I love me because what? Jesus loves me first. So I hope that's motivation for you. Let's get back outside, all right? Had to come in here for a commercial break. This is Price Mixing It Up. You in the house with me? Whoop, whoop. So let's get back outside. Okay, the geranium clippings. I keep wanting to say gardenia. They're right here. And so this is a little pot that I've done other pieces in. And I'm literally, I'm gonna just stick it down in there for now. Okay, it's not breaking there. I'm going to fix it. But I don't want to sit now. And I'm going to put some water in here and some food and some fertilizer. This is all you have to do to geranium and jade. Okay. There. Look. It's going to grow. Keep you posted. Like lemon tree. It's filling out. No fruit on it yet. Doing good. It's a dwarf, but it's filling out. Okay, my geranium is suffering. I gotta move this. <sighs> it's not happy right there. So I've watered it. I think I need to pull it out of there and put it in the ground. I may move it to the front where I have um, planted the pot, the pot that's in the planter in the ground. I may pull that up and put this there. So here's some more work that needs to be done. Those are the mini roses, right? There, look how beautiful. So as you can see, look, overgrown, dry. I'm gonna work on it. The jades are looking nice. I have two new plants to the family. Actually, I have four. These two succulents. So, um, got these from someone that's moved. The pots are really nice. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. For now, I'm just gonna keep them alive but this is not their home right here. It's just sitting here, uh, getting used to this this uh, home, this neighborhood. All right, here's the garden. <clears throat> oh, can you see a little blue dragonfly? Look at that. That's pretty cool, it's a baby. It's a baby. So the tomatoes, um, I've been picking them every day because like today they're green, tomorrow they'll be red. <laughs> and I picked one, um, two peppers off of this one. I gave my, it, one to my neighbor. Uh, these greens, these are Georgia collards. So they were ruined and I didn't eat any off of it, but um, I trimmed them and I'm gonna fertilize them. And I'm just trying to see what to do. I think I need to move the location of this box because they don't do well in the summer. They were bolting. So I got some seeds and I can plant some new seeds and probably fill this in. Um, 
here's a pepper is that pretty you see it where is it there it is there's a pepper okay more tomatoes mm-hmm everything's doing well got one squash off of here it's in the fridge there's two babies coming on so as you can see the squash is now catching on catching up this is the spearmint it's bolting i need to trim um i've used it when i made the fusion water it's growing so wild the sage is under there look there's the sage i mean every everything over here flying around there's the basil it's a busy garden y'all look at those tomatoes romas they are delicious well, I've been eating lots of salad. I mean, I got Dragonfly Country over here today. All right, Bird of Paradise. Remember them? I moved them over here today, and they're looking happy. They were sitting on the other side of that grill, uh, parching in the sun. And just since I moved it here today, this one's looking really nice already. It's happy. This one, I got to find it. I don't think it's happy right here. So I'm going to move this one somewhere else um yeah anyway that's that story okay okay y'all it's price mixing it up in the house woo, woo. that's the end of another episode all right gardening chronicles let's see i think this is a new season what you think i only do so many episodes per season right so this is going to be a new season. I think it's, uh, what am I on, season six? Somebody tell me. Put it in the comments. All right, help me out. So I'm, it's on, I'm on break now. I've been gardening quite a bit today. I'm going to do some more later. Can't do it all at once because it's 93 degrees out here, y'all. Got my drink. Mm, that's my club soda, my lemon and lime. I got some nutrition. I got me a little apple here. And I got me a little um, handful of trail mix. So I'm about to have a little snack and um, just cool out. Listen to some music, get into me, do me, right? So um, today is Sunday, so we're doing spiritual growth today. We do spiritual growth every day, all right? Don't wait till Sunday to get close to the Lord. You can do it any day, every day, any time of the day. Don't let nobody tell you Sunday is the only day or Saturday or Friday right seven days a week the lord made for us to meet with him so commune with the lord get in your your closet your space do you and i'm doing me this is christ mixing it up let's close in prayer if you're thinking about gardening cooking whatever let me encourage and motivate you all right i'm not a chef and i'm not a master gardener I'm learning as I go, and guess what? I'm enjoying it as I go, because it's what I want to do. So find something that you like to do, if it's not gardening or cooking, whatever it is, and do you, all right? So I'm going to say what, remember to do what, make it a what, great day. Thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, for this wonderful day, for this episode of Garden Chronicles. Thank you for the viewers, Lord. Thank you for the hearers and the listeners of your word, Lord, and the doers of your word. So we thank you right now for families, Lord. Thank you for safety and protection. Thank you for kids going back to school, Father God. Let's just surround them with your holy angels, Lord. Those that have evil minds, Lord, turn it from, turn it, turn it, turn it in Jesus' name. You say you take that. That, that hard heart and you make it a heart of flesh Lord and we thank you for doing that and we just bless the families Lord help the parents be parents Lord and not just friends and buddies to their kids help them to lead and discipline their kids in the fear of the Lord so we thank you for the teachers and the staff at the schools Lord Jesus thank you for safety put those guns down in Jesus name Thank you, Lord. We take authority over every unclean, foul, demonic spirit. Everything that wants to come against our children, our future generation, we take it and we find it up and we cast it out. In Jesus' name, we cast our cares on you because you care for us, Lord. We thank you for it. We love you, Lord. Thank you for nature, gardening, food, refreshing times. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all. Price mixing it up. I'll see you next time. Woo, woo, come on now, woo.